Hey, today we're gonna make some caramel nut cinnamon rolls for Easter morning. So uh, first we're gonna make the dough uh, and let it rise for a while, that's step one. So I'm gonna start with two cups of all-purpose flour. Again, kind of fluff your flour up. Make sure it's light and not packed. Two cups of flour. And a packet of yeast. Always check the expiration date on your packet of yeast. They all have them and you wanna make sure your yeast is still active. Add that yeast, give it a quick stir so it's protected by that flour before we hit it with something warm. And we're gonna set this aside and then take you over to the stove where we're gonna get the wet ingredients ready. Okay, so over here, I have a saucepan that I'm gonna put one cup of milk. Half a teaspoon of salt. Third cup of butter, preferably unsalted. And a third cup of sugar. We're going to eat this gently just until the butter almost melts. Okay, so as you can see, our butter is almost completely melted. So I'm going to turn off the heat and remove my pan. Just stir gently, finishing that butter. And then I'm going to take it over and add it to my dry ingredients. All right, that bowl with flour and yeast. I'm now gonna add this hot liquid. Along with two eggs at room temperature. And we're gonna get this started. And start beating. 30 seconds on slow to get it going. And then after it starts mixing, we're going to kick this up to high for three minutes. So we'll let that start incorporating first. Oh, it smells so good. All right, that's looking good. I'm going to stop our mixer here. And so far we've only got the two cups of flour in here. Our total recipe is for four and a third cups of flour. So now it's time to manually start mixing in the rest of that flour. So I'm gonna make sure my mixer got everything incorporated. Look how nice and homogenous that is. Nice and mixed, that's exactly what we want. Okay, so now I'm gonna change to a wooden spoon and add two more cups of flour. Again, kind of fluff in the flour before you scoop so that it's not packed. All right, I'm gonna mix in as much of this remaining flour as I can, and then I'm gonna knead this dough for three to five minutes. Oh, it smells so good and it's nice and warm with that sugar and butter and milk to make that just slightly sweetened dough. Uh, most of the sweet will come from the caramel nut topping and the cinnamon sugar filling. Okay, so it's getting a little bit harder to stir this in. So I'm gonna take that remaining third cup of flour. You can eyeball it. I'm gonna flour my board as I incorporate as much of the remaining flour as I can kneading this dough.
grew up watching my grandma make bread all the time, not for cinnamon rolls per se, and watching her knead dough for hours, it seemed like in the kitchen, getting it ready. You know, while we're kneading, that act is creating the gluten that makes bread so good and chewy. And I'm just going to keep on going with this for a total of three to five minutes till it's a nice, smooth, cohesive ball of soft dough. Very nice, nice, soft ball of dough. So what I'm gonna do now is, this needs to rest. All dough needs to rest so it can rise. I'm gonna grease our bowl. I'm gonna turn it upside down and then flip it around. So the top of the dough ball now has some moisture. And then I'm gonna cover this and let it rise in a warm place for one hour. All right, I'm gonna make caramel nut rolls this time. You can also just make the cinnamon rolls if you wanted to put icing on them, but I really like caramel pecan. So I'm gonna start making the caramel mixture now. To this saucepan, I'm gonna add 2 thirds cup of packed brown sugar, one quarter cup of unsalted butter, and two tablespoons of light corn syrup. And when you're measuring your corn syrup, it's always good to grease whatever it is you're going to measure in so that that corn syrup slides right out. So I need two tablespoons. Perfect. And then that corn syrup will come right out of my cup there. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna melt this down and get it all gooey just until it melts. The butter melts and the sugar warms and melts into it. And then we're gonna immediately pour it into two nine inch round pans. That's because the caramel and pecan is gonna go on the bottom and we're gonna lay cinnamon rolls on top. And when they come out of the oven, we'll flip them over and then the caramel pecan will be on top of those cinnamon rolls. All right, looks like it's all melted. So I don't wanna make hard toffee, I want soft caramel. So I'm immediately gonna take it off the heat. Pour half in my first pan, half in my second pan. Whatever looks like half to you. Working really quick. Sugar and butter, if you keep cooking, will become hard crunchy toffee and we want nice soft caramel. So I'm just gonna Spread this out of my pan a little bit. And now I'm gonna chop two thirds cups of pecans. I love pecans and baked goods. They are my favorite nut for baking. I'm gonna chop these and then sprinkle them on top of the caramel mixture. is rough chop fine chop or you can do no nuts at all maybe you don't like nuts and you don't want them in your baked goods and that's fine too caramel rolls are also awesome all right just dividing these nuts up evenly all right and we're going to cut our cinnamon rolls so we can lay them right on top all right let's see what our dough looks like it's been an hour in a nice warm place. Looks good, looks like we're about double. Now we need to punch it down, deflate some of that air. We'll roll it out onto our surface. Just pushing the air out of that dough. Gonna divide it in half and let it rest again for 10 more minutes. Divide it in half.
cover it back up and we'll be back here in 10 minutes. All right, our dough has rested this for 10 minutes, that second time. I'm gonna flatten it out again, each piece separately. I'll hold this one over here for a minute. And it's now time to make these become some cinnamon rolls. All right, what you wanna do is kind of square off the edges and make sure you're kind of rolling it out into a rectangle. Then we're gonna butter it. We're gonna fill it with cinnamon sugar mixture, roll them up, cut them, and let them rest again. So what I'm gonna do is make these ahead. So these are really great for make-ahead recipes, and I'm gonna bake them tomorrow morning. You can also throw them in the oven right after. I'm gonna make our cinnamon sugar mixture over here with a half cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Doesn't have to be exact. And mix that up so it's evenly dispersed. Good, even cinnamon sugar mixture, ready to go. All right, and I'm gonna take this dough, stretch it again manually, try to get it in a good shape. You want it pretty even. And you wanna roll it out as best you can. You wanna to try to roll this out to about a 12 by eight inch rectangle. Do your best, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, here I have a quarter cup of butter that I've melted to brush all over this wonderful sweet dough. Oh, it smells so good, this dough. And now getting hit with the butter. My gosh, these are so good, I can't wait. Get that butter all the way to the edges. Okay. Then I'm gonna just sprinkle liberally the cinnamon sugar mixture, about half the mixture on each piece of dough. I like to sprinkle a lot in the middle, then I can spread it out just like sand across this. Looks great. And then I'm going to take it from the long end and roll it up to a nice tight roll, keeping those edges as flat as you can. Very good. Nice, even. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay, and then I'm going to take a cutting board. I set my roll right on top of it. Just gonna move it aside and get that other one ready and rolled out. We're gonna make two round pans, remember, two round pans of cinnamon rolls. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna take one to our friend Nancy so she has an awesome cinnamon roll breakfast. We certainly don't need two in this house. All right, again, you're trying to roll it out to about a 12 by eight inch rectangle. Those edges as plumb as you can. Work with that dough a little bit, make it work for you, whatever you need. All right, you can get this one buttered. Get that cinnamon sugar on it, it's gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Nancy's gonna be surprised. She doesn't know it's coming. All right. Looking good. A little extra butter never hurt anyone. Okay, sprinkle with that cinnamon sugar just like last time. I like to pile it up in the middle and then spread it out. Very nice. Smells so good in here. Okay, and then we're gonna 
Once again, roll it from the long side in. Nice, tight roll. Keeping those edges in. Nice and square. Make sure when you've got it, you kind of even it out a little bit. It was nice and pliable, perfect. I'm gonna set this on my board. Bring them forward. Okay, I'm gonna cut these cinnamon rolls up and I'm gonna get them in those prepared pans. So I'm gonna start, because I want my rolls to be somewhat even per pan. So I'm gonna start in the middle with a really nice sharp knife. Start with even, and I like to make a dozen. About the same size each. And flip it around, get that other one going. Slice it in half, slice it in half again. And then each piece into thirds. Very nice. These are gonna rise again, whether you put them in the oven, obviously, or even tonight in the fridge, um, they're still gonna rise a little bit. And so I'll grab my pans. So the pecan kernel, remember, in the bottom of these pans that we had prepared. And I'm just gonna put my cinnamon rolls inside these pans and they don't have to touch because they're gonna spread out a little bit as they rise again. So just fit them in however you can in a nice pretty pattern and know that they'll rise again and be awesome. Okay, we'll get these in here. All my cinnamon rolls looking good like little soldiers around the pan. Oh, these are going to be so good. My daughter commented on how long it takes to put these together and how quickly they disappear. All right, so here's my two pans of cinnamon rolls ready to go, um, either in the oven or in the fridge. Okay, so as I said, I'm making these cinnamon rolls ahead, so I'm going to bake them in the morning. They're going to go in the fridge for 2 to 24 hours. So I'm going to cover them today with some plastic wrap. Tomorrow, I'm, when I take them out of the fridge, I'm going to make sure they have 30 minutes to reach room temperature before I bake them in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. All right, we will see you in the morning. Hi, we're back. So I have my cinnamon rolls that have been in the fridge overnight and I've left them out of room temperature for at least 30 minutes. And now it's time to pop them in the oven at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to do this until they look beautiful golden brown on top. And then we're going to have to move quickly to flip them over so that the ooey gooey caramel drizzles down the sides. We'll see you in 20 to 25. All right, it's time to get these beautiful rolls out of the oven. I'm going to take a peek and make sure they're golden brown. And then you got to work fast so that caramel doesn't turn into toffee. Let's see. Oh yeah. Check that out. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Love it. Beautiful golden brown rolls. Let me get a plate here. Put it over top. Quickly flip. Always have a spatula ready. So that if you need to get some of that caramel off the top of the pan. You can work quick. Oh, those turned out really good. While it's still hot and caramely, you can pull some of that off the top of the pan and just put it right on your rolls. Super quick working because it'll start to cool and harden by the second. All right. Get that other one popped over. in the middle. Oh, 
so nice. Looks great. Get that caramel topping off before it hardens. It will harden while you're doing it. Just the room temperature being so much cooler than that oven at 375. We'll start turning this caramel hard. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful caramel nut rolls. Nancy's going to love it. My fam's going to love it. Check that out. Yum. Caramel pecan rolls. Get one of these out of here. They look so good. Caramel's still melty. Yum. I gotta try it. I can't wait. Super hot though, so be careful, right? Mmm, so good. You're gonna love this recipe. Can't wait till you try it.